This is the story of DMT, or dimethyltryptamine, a simple compound found throughout nature which has profound effects on human consciousness. DMT, even though it's the, the most powerful psychedelic drug known to man, it's in every single ecosystem all over the world. It exists in plants and grasses, and it's everywhere. I mean, it's really the craziest drug to be illegal everywhere because everyone's got it in their system. It's like you, everyone's holding. That was like Terrence everyone's McKenna's holding. line. Yeah, and uh, it's uh, pretty intense stuff, man. If you do it, you will talk to intelligent beings from other dimensions, for real. <laughs> I mean, it sounds crazy. You would think that if there's something like that, that it would be on the front page. It's amazing that people don't know about it. I mean, it's the most incredible experience. I mean, we are such a, uh, uh, like uh, an experience-obsessed society. I mean, everybody wants to go whitewater rafting, and people want to talk about, you know, my uncle climbed Mount Everest. It's all about experiences. We all want to ride roller coasters and see the craziest movies. There is a little powder, and you smoke this little powder, and it will change the way you look at everything. You won't <laughs> care about UFOs. If a UFO landed right out there, I'd be like, wow, yeah, they're probably from another planet. Whatever. It's not DMT. DMT is a hundred thousand times crazier than that. It's like mushrooms times a million plus aliens. <laughs> plus, <laughs> that's what it's like. And literally, I mean, it sounds, it's, it's crazier than you could possibly imagine or describe. If you take DMT, you will communicate with something. And it's, it's, it's so beyond description that me talking about it is like trying to explain a kaleidoscope to a blind man. I mean, it just doesn't make sense. Like, there's no way you could explain it. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's so beyond anything you can explain. But something communicates with you when you when you do this stuff. And my words do it no justice. The craziest thing about DMT, because DMT is literally like having a meeting with God. It's like having a meeting with divine, unbelievably wise, incredibly loving energy. Like, whatever it is, the source of everything. And it leaves you so humble that after that after it's over you have a it's like literally like you're still you you still look like you you still wear the same clothes you are but you're not really you anymore I mean you literally have been changed you know you have experienced something that very few humans experience and the thought to me that people can go through their entire lives and not know about this is an incredible waste of time it's like your life could be so much more positive and so much more interesting and fascinating and you you would be so much more humble and aware of what you you really are and where you really stand if you just have this experience the crazy thing is you can get alcohol everywhere you can go to Dwayne Reed and buy a, <laughs> bu a jug of wine and sure. get effed up you yeah know? I mean we have we have drugs that are available I mean how many times you talk to a girl oh I don't do drugs I mean you know she's hammered smoking a cigarette <laughs> you know I mean everybody there's there's drugs caffeine I mean I'm s drinking a coffee right now it's just it's sanctioned it's a sanctioned drug because it's it's great for Capitalism, it keeps you going, it keeps you working. Yeah. But there's, uh, you know, there's, there's drugs out there that are actually good for you. There's drugs out there that are actually good for your mind. I do drugs because I, I find the state that psychedelic drugs put you in very fascinating and very introspective, and you can learn a lot about yourself, you can learn about a lot about life, because it removes you and your ego from the equation. You get to look at things from like a, a newborn's perspective. That's why I do it. I don't do anything like, I don't do coke or meth or anything dangerous, anything that's addictive. I have never done coke, I've never done speed, I've never done heroin, I, I won't do anything that can hurt you. But psychedelic drugs those are they're, they're very different with this this big blanket that we put on everything we call everything drugs that's a, a broad term that encompasses everything from like NyQuil to DMT you know I mean they're all drugs I mean they're all they all affect your consciousness it's like how do they affect your consciousness though I'm not interested in anything that messes me up I don't think I understand anything that gives me brain damage or anything that makes me you know addicted to it I just I'm only interested in things that that can alter my state of consciousness for the the better it's very very intense There's the but it's not dangerous. Dab them. It's a human neurotransmitter. It's actually one of the most transient drugs ever exhibited in the body because your body brings it down to baseline really quickly. Your body brings it down to baseline in like 10 to 15 minutes. It's really crazy. What's that mean, down to baseline? It yeah. means like, say, if you have it, you're high, you go to that dimension, it blows out, and then... 15 minutes later, you're back normal. And the crazy thing is, it's just like dreams. You know, you wake up and you're like, I had the craziest dream. It was me and my buddy Mike, and we were, we were kids, but we had a sled, and my mom was there. And then five minutes later, you're like, what the hell was my dream? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly what a DMT trip was like. It's like gold dust slipping cool. through your fingers. Why is DMT in our bodies? Why is it in plants, in 
all sorts of mammals? And what is the role it plays in human? Why, why is there a part of the brain that seems to be, for lack of a better word, a, a god detector? I'm actually quite, quite convinced that we're probing the biological basis of moral and ethical behavior. We're desperate to find new information, ideas, and so on that can, can transcend. We have to evolve.